the things that I am most proud of, of carrying on this verbal communication that's been passed from generation to generation is that it is a art form that has for the most part remained unaffected by outside influences. A cattle feeder in a cattle like he wants to see my stock. I tell him, park it in the drive and we'll take a little walk. Oh, mercy sakes, no, boy, heaven sakes alive. I'm not in this for my health, son. I bought the car to drive. Muddy over shoes, a red carpet floor. This cowboy never rode an El Dorado before. It's a long, shiny, hard top, two door coupe. A mighty nice car to be driving through the poop. We hop in the seat. He drives to the gate and my dog jumps out. No, so just sit and wait. Now there's red heifers, gray heifers, black ones too. Come a running helter skelter, see what Caddy's gonna do. They're licking on the headlamp, licking on the fender. Cowboy sweating blood, hoping they don't bend her. You can't see the forest if you're standing in the trees. And heifers swarming around like an angry bunch of bees. They're waiting for the feed bucket, looking for the corn. Cattle feeder spreads them out by tooting on the horn. Heads up, tails turn. We get Get a different view. Lead heifer signals. Charge dog don't know what to do. Tail between her legs. The mutt turns to run and the heifer chase her through the gate. Thinking this is fun. Cattle feeder says they're fleshy. He don't believe they'll do. Pulls a stogie from his pocket and he gives the end a chew. Now I don't hold grudges and I don't get sore. But I don't allow caddies in my feet then anymore.